Hey there everyone. Okay, so today we're going to cover another strapping technique and we're going to use this strapping technique to treat an injury that we call Sever's disease or calcaneal apophysitis. Now, calcaneal apophysitis is an injury to the growth plate that resides in the heel bone, the bone in the back of our heel. Now, this bone is called the calcaneus and the growth plate, we call it the calcaneal apophysis. When you injure it, we call it calcaneal apophysitis. Itis means inflammation. So an inflammation of the growth plate of the bone in the back of the heel. Now this injury is very, very common in children. About the ages of eight to 14, it can occur, but it's very common around about nine or 10 years old. When you get this injury, one of the key components is making sure that we splint it. We want to stop the growth plate from moving. The growth plate is very soft and malleable, so it's very easy for the muscles and tendons acting on the foot to create a traction of it or an irritation and strain it. So we want to stop it from moving and splint it. Now to do that, we're going to use the stretchy tape, the kinesio tape. Now this, the strapping method using this technique we're going to use around about a piece of tape that runs from the heel to about five-ish centimeters above the heel, the bony knob on the inside of your ankle here so we're going to measure this piece of tape and in this case it ends up being around about four squares and we're going to cut three pieces and once again near enough is good enough so we're going to cut three of these And what we're going to do is we're going to round the edges off. Rounding the edges off, make sure the tape sticks better, especially for kids because they're hot and sweaty and they um, run around and they're pretty robust. You want to make sure it's going to last for as long as you can. So now we've got these pieces, we're going to get the tape in about two centimeters from the end. We're going to peel it back and we're going to put this on the inside of our leg. Okay, we're going to hold that and we're going to pull. And you, when I do that, the backing comes away. And then I can grab it. And the last two centimeters, roughly, we're not going to stretch that part. So the start and finish has no stretch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hold my foot in roughly 90 degrees. I'm going to hold this bit of tape and I'm going to stretch it. And I'm going to stretch it down. It's going to di go diagonally over the back of the heel bone to the outside portion of the foot and we're going to pat this in place. So I'm going to pat that down, and the last part here, I'm going to peel it back without stretching it. So we're just going to pat this down, okay? So that's piece number one. Now piece number two, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to tear about two centimeters from the end, we're going to peel it back, and this time, we're going to put it on the outside of the leg. So we're going to pop it on the outside, we're going to let it sit there. Now I'm going to hold it. It's going to go diagonally over the heel to the inside of the foot. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to stretch, I'm going to pull it all the way around to the inside of the arch, and we're going to pat that down. And the last part, once again, has no stretch. I'm just going to drape that down gently. And then this part, we're going to pat in place. Okay, so you try and pat it down without it stretching. Now the reason I'm doing this myself is because we get lots of people ask, how can they do it themselves? So it's easy to do, you can see, but you can get someone to help you. So third piece, we're gonna tear two centimeters from the end, and this piece is gonna go on the back of the heel, on the back of the calf, sorry, without stretching it, and it's gonna go straight down the middle. So I'm gonna pull, I'm going to fold the tape back. The last two centimeters is going to have no stretch. I'm going to bring it straight down the center of the heel and the middle of the foot, and we're going to pat that down without any stretch. Now, these pieces of tape, I'm actually stretching them around about 100% when I do stretch them. We really want to stop this foot from what we call dorsiflexing, or the foot from moving up. We're going to resist any traction of the Achilles on the growth plate. Now, we're gonna do two more pieces. So we're gonna grab one more bit of tape, and we're gonna put a piece of tape over the back of the heel bone, and it's gonna be about two-ish squares. So I'll cut that piece first. Now, we'll round the edges off. We're gonna tear this piece in the middle, fold it back. Once again, the edges of the tape have no stretch, and we're gonna put this straight on the back of the heel, so I'm going to pat that down, 
and you'll notice I'm putting it over the top and this is going to lock these long pieces in place and I'm just going to peel that back without stretching that piece and the same with this side we're going to pat that down okay now we're going to put one more piece and it's going to go on the top here so we're going to put a piece that's going to go around there to lock it down even more and this piece is going to be about two and a half squares long but every brand of tape has a different level of stretchiness to it so you'll have to experiment with the brand you've got I'm going to tear it in the middle I'm going to fold it back the less you touch the tape the better I'm going to grab it stretch it a hundred percent and I'm going to wrap that straight over the top of those pieces and the ends of the tape are going to pat down with no stretch okay. now once again this is going to help to stop the foot from going into what we call dorsiflexion that's going to help take tension off the growth plate now this injury when your child does get it in the initial stages splinting it like this is essential because you need to rest it give that a go do it for a few weeks and or wait until your child's pain subsides substantially and if that helps you're on the right track